Mary. Okay, greetings everybody. My name is Oscar Kibet and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today I want to show you how we make our cane baskets from start to finish. Um, as you can see, what we should use is uh, we use a vineyard, vineyard and uh, plywood board. Plywood. So it is uh, usually attached like this, as you can see. So what you, what you want to make right now is called a cane bread basket. So I'm going to start on how we, how we usually do it. Number one, you need an end to draw on the board. You also need a, 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 a knife, a pair of uh, pruning shears. This one can also be used when you're weaving on, on frames, but I don't think we need this for now. Yeah, so I think that's it. So first, we start by drawing. Start by drawing where the holes will be made. You can come closer. This is how we do it. Um, we always make sure the the holes that we are we are going to make the. We always draw dots so that um, these dots you are able to make holes using the key, uh, keyless chunk uh, drill driver. This is how we drill. And the most important thing is um, the most important thing the holes have to be an even number so that we don't have uh, problems when uh, weaving. So once you draw like this, we have to count and make sure it's an even odd number, sorry. So as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. This is 26, so I'll be forced to squeeze in another one, hole here. That's how we do it. Then, this is called a uh, this is called a twelve volt Thompson uh, drill. So this is how we drill the holes. As you can see here, was slightly closed, so I'll have to put it somewhere here. This is how we drill. The bit we use is a uh, is a three sixteen. It should be nearly the same size with the K. Yeah. So that's how we have the basket. And then uh, the table there. I've never turned myself, but this procedure usually takes less than uh, today. I'll be able to know how long it can take. I've never timed myself. The bit is li was slightly a bit small, but anyway, it will serve the purpose for now. how we make our baskets
the most important thing is um, to have the can soaked in water for around roughly two minutes. Soaking can in water at least makes it uh, much more flexible. Yeah, now we're almost done with that part. So yeah. So now we are done with that. So we are now ready to start weaving the bread basket. Now you can see we have the cane that was soaked in water. And then the kind of the kind of cane that we use is very very high quality. There are different kinds of cane which are not very good in color and in flexibility. This one is quite flexible. As you can see. Now we are about to start. The most important thing is to have the cane in better shape. This is how we start. We start with the belt. Times they can get can get twisted. Yeah, so we start again. So you, will, you should always pull the can slightly behind so that it doesn't cave in.
as we like to call this the belt because it's three strands of cane intertwined so once it reaches here once you reach this stage you have to cut these two and then we continue This is what happens when the cane is soft sometimes it may cave in so what we usually do here we have to add some extra support to the short cane we fix the supports on the right on the right hand side
yeah that's how we do it so we continue weaving again upwards the basket is almost complete now so we continue weaving again upwards To check the shape you can see it's coming out better skin is too soft i think that is another Getting into shape. For those people who are starting YouTube, my advice is um, with longer videos, because we post a lot of uh, shots, with the longer videos, you're able to increase uh, your watch time. You're able to increase your watch time and um, if your content is good, can be able to go viral but for those who are using shots because most of the time i upload shots youtube doesn't pay much for for the watch uh, it's not easy to get your channel monetized if you only do shots yeah, so now one two three four five six seven eight i still have to go upwards a bit before i start uh, finishing The basket that I'm making is called a bread basket. It can also be used for amenities. Most of these things we make are for hotels and uh, and lodges. Now, I think that's where it is. So I'll start cutting from here.
once I reach there, there are two ways of doing it. I can add a little water because right now it is uh, almost dry. Or I can decide to soak it a little, either that you prefer. Now, the next stage is called finishing. So, um, there has to be a way the cane has to. Um, there has to be a way the, the cane has to be fixed directly to the board. So this is one way of doing it. Here we go three over three. A technique called three over three. This way, the board cannot come out. It can stick for very, very many years. Though there was another method of weaving under, but the problem, one of the challenges is um, at times the base would cave in, but now when you have the board, it remains as it is. Yeah. So now this is how we do it. Then, Take this one. This is how it has to go inside. So it goes. Now we are done with the bottom. The top will have a different finish, not as the bottom. So when that is done, you have to make sure the basket is in shape. As you can see, we have a basket in shape. And then you cut in case you find some. Uh oh, I cut I, I cut that by mistake. So okay. I have to replace. I have to replace. So you, you cannot even be able to know. So now, this one is different. This one is two out, two in. No, sorry, it's, this one is, is called two, two over two. Two out, one in, then two out, two in. This is how it goes. There, there are many different methods. So this is just one of them. You can have three out, three in, but today we are, go we are going to do two out, two in. So this is how we do it. This is exactly how we do our baskets. And then when it's, once it's finished, we have options of clear varnish, staining. But we always prefer clear varnish because clear varnish maintains its natural form. Yeah, that's how we do it. Okay. Now once it reaches there, the same pattern that you started with should be the same same pattern that you should end it with. We started with two out, two in. So now this is how it goes. The basket has to be woven in such a way you'll not know where I started and where I finished it from. how it goes now in future I'll try and make much more clearer videos I'll be posting clearer videos because it's not very easy for people to know how this thing works then now you start cutting from inside 
You have to use remove the excess skin. I would kindly ask you guys to like my content. At least it, it makes me encouraged to upload more. Even though my videos are not very um, perfect, but it's a great way to start. Now, we've already removed the excess skin. As you can see, that is clean. Yeah, you can see it is clean now. Then we come to the bottom. Come to the bottom. We are now almost finishing our basket. Yeah, so now we are coming to the end of our video. Now that's how our basket looks like now. Very, very importantly, it's uh, it's good to remove these fibers. Yeah, you can remove it slowly. The next video, I'll show you how we remove our, uh, our fibers. We you always use the, the the gas blower. So, I think we've come to the end. You can take it closer. We've come to the end of our video. So that's how the basket looks like. This is how the bread basket looks like. I don't know how many minutes I used, but uh, I'll share the caption. So, um, look as you can show the whatever. Yeah, so you can, you can now show me. Okay, so thank you so much. My name is Oscar Kibet. We are makers of uh, cake furniture and baskets. So, that's what I showed you that you are doing. So, thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe to our content. Thank you so much, and God bless.